Erica had been interviewing and one of her big things was that she was gonna bring her boyfriend. And during the interview, I was like, come on. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, you're gonna move both cross country. Why don't you just dump this guy and just get it over with? And uh, over the course of the last few months, I've, I've become actually very close friends with, uh, with her boyfriend. Uh, it was Levin is his name. And he had approached me about two months before the show and said, hey, look, uh, I want to propose to Erica uh, and I want to do it at PAX. Neither Levin nor Erica had ever been to PAX, so they really didn't know what to expect. I was like, all right, this is sort of a plan that I think is, that can, that I think can work. Robert has a, a tremendous ability to plan um, events and the original schematic for this event was... We probably don't want to say it. The original plan was truly, truly, Epic. truly outrageous. Ultimately, we decided that I would call Erica and be like, hey, I really need for you to pick up this package. You've got to come down and uh, deliver this thing to me right now. I'm really sorry. Can you just leave wherever you are and just go grab it? Oh, this one. A little better. So, uh, Levin is trying to sneak away from, uh, from, from Erica. He needs to lie to her and say that he's going to the hotel. And, uh, but the problem is that in order for him to get up here, he sort of has to be around merch. In order to get up here, he kind of has to sneak by. I don't know, I can go get him. Go get him, will you? Do you have his info? Is he down there right now? Uh, no. He's I have his number and stuff. Just text messages is the best way to get a hold of them without alerting her. So, you need to come up here. Uh, yeah, whatever room this is. I think Erica and Levin had been here maybe three months when I got here. And everyone has really given Levin a hard time about him having not proposed yet. They've been together for so long and now they've moved from Florida and just really ragging on him about proposing and stuff. And then out of nowhere, he was sitting here and he just goes, Fuckers, I already have the ring. I've had it for months. I'm just waiting for the right time. Like a little kid, and I was like, oh, what? No way. You got him. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I've had the ring for a while now, and I wanted to, you know, do something kind of big and uh, do something really special. We're going to go to Pennsylvania after PAX, and I wanted to propose to her there. And Kiko's like, why don't you do it PAX? And I was like, I thought about it, I was like, that would be awesome. She'll be running around PAX, because she doesn't know what she's gonna be doing anyway, and so she'll be running around PAX, delivering packages, picking them up, whatever, and the last package will contain the ring, and she'll be de delivering that on stage to Mike and Jerry. Your boyfriend? Yeah. He's here? He is here, but he ran away. So I stole his shirt for him. What's he doing up here? Uh. Nosy. <laughs> He's just looking around. I'm I'm super super nervous because I'm like I'm I'm normally the I don't, I don't really talk much. Levin is a, a man of few words. He, he's so quiet, and then he'll say something, and when he does say something, it's very important, you know, because he's been saving it. Listen, when he says something, it's it's worth saying. I think that's but... why everyone likes Levin so much. He never says anything, so he can be whoever you want him yeah, to be. You just you apply the template. Like yeah. my Levin is probably different Completely from your Levin, and he's great. I like Levin a lot. He's just like you. He's just exactly like me. He likes all the same things I do. I don't know why I waited this long, because I, I mean, like the first time I met her, I knew that that she was for me. Anticipating her reaction is going to be worth it. You know. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be coming from stage left here. Mm -hmm. So. Where is she coming from? Stage oh, right.
to go to main theater and I'll buy the package? Yes. Okay. This is a setup. I'm almost certain it's a Robert thing. Do you have a package for me to take to main theater? I don't know, I was told to go. So that's the package, just Kuz emergency box. I, like, it seems like there's going to be a human heart still beating inside of it. Like, it's he's like Davy Jones, right? <laughs> Hi. I've brought all the things you requested. All right, let's go. Is that your heart? He has been following me around all day. He's friend. constantly in the merch booth. And then like when you were like, do you have a camera crew with you? And I walked on the corner and Van's standing right there. I'm like, <laughs> I do now. And she, she comes running down with the package. And I say, oh, you know what? Uh, come on, I want to show you something really cool. I'll show you backstage during the Q&A. And we're sitting back there. And I say, hey, you know what would be really cool is if you go out there and present this to Mike and Jerry. I think the crowd would get a really good kick out of that. And, and the rest is history. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Would it be okay if I had her deliver this box out there? Yeah, just don't trip on the coil wire. Oh, g'day guys. Oh, hey, hold on a second. This is embarrassing, isn't it? All right, uh, how many people here remember Erica? All right, Erica. Now this is our Q and A. Yeah, but there's somebody who has a question for you, actually. for a long time now. And uh, you know, considering that we'll be going to many, many PAXs in the near future, I really wanted our first to be special. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 well, first, first, you know, I just wanted to say that I'm really happy that that all you guys got to at least get introduced to Erica via the PA TV because I'm, I'm crazy for this girl. <laughs> Erica Greco, <laughs> will you marry me? When he pulled the ring out and, and, the, and they did a close-up on her hand and her hand was shaking, I remembered Angie's hand shaking, my wife's hand shaking, and then I got all misty. I've never heard that many words in sequence from Levin. He was definitely, you know, Levin Prime. Like we, we got a chance to see the, we got a chance to see the man there. It was something else. Your fiance? I'm gonna go pee. See, this is the thing they never tell you. Because people are always putting rings on people's fingers in shows. It's so hard, isn't it? Hell or hands shaking. I know, I was like, I broke the box. <laughs> and the box is crushed. It's made of Lego. He built the oh, box. Oh my gosh. Oh, that bangs. <laughs> nice. But no, no, it's like, it's that's actually not something that it's easy to do. I don't yeah, even know what hand to put it on. Exactly. Somebody walked Nobody over does. and told me. Nobody does. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, congrats, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for helping facilitate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Did you guys know? Everybody knew? Oh, yeah. Everybody knew. Everybody, everybody on the other. You guys are good, though, because I usually figure out surprises by accident. Oh, yeah. And uh, I had no idea. I had zero clue. No, no. We really weigh in. Totally awesome. Congratulations, <laughs> you guys. Thank you. 
I think it's funny because I, I was I was like writing on Facebook or Twitter or something the other day like man my first pack was so awesome like nothing will ever top this and and it's funny because people who didn't know were tweeting back like trust me it gets better every year like no you only get proposed to one time. <laughs> Mom, Levin <laughs> just proposed to me on stage at the at Mike and Jerry's Q and A. I think it's really awesome that it was our first packs and that always gonna remember it in that way. That will always be a, a part of PAX. And the people that were there will always be like, oh yeah, we were there when Eric and Levin got engaged. That's crazy. Never forget now. Never forget. She walked on stage with the box. I went, oh, I bet you it's happening right now. And it's like, and I did start getting a little teary-eyed. Even on Twitter. <laughs> My guildmates who weren't even here when they found out the news, they're like, they didn't say good luck to Erica. They said, hey, did Jeff cry? 